Okay, good morning. It is currently 9.20 in the morning, so not super early, but I'm just doing a little week in my life this week. But disclaimer, I'm actually starting this on Tuesday because I was home this weekend and I didn't come back to Knoxville until yesterday because I only have classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I have a super fun week this week, lots of things happening. Um, I have a mixture this week, potentially a basketball game. Valentine's Day is today. And yeah, just lots of fun stuff happening. So again, this is my senior year. We are currently less than 100 days out from graduation. So I'm trying to soak in every second I can, film every second I can, because um, I can't believe it's almost over. Oh my gosh, I just dropped my phone. But my first class starts at 9.45. That's my like capstone class for graduation. And then I have my social media strategy class. And then my sports branding class actually is canceled this week. So I don't have to go, which is gonna be really nice. So now I'm gonna have a little break between class and work to like eat and breathe basically, um, which is gonna be great. Again, I can never get over this view if it'll focus. There's Neyland literally every time I park here and I see this view, it's just, I don't know. It just makes me so happy to look at it. It's a super pretty day today. The high I think is supposed to be like 67, currently 40 degrees right now. It's supposed to go up like 15 degrees in an hour, so we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna head to class and I will see y'all when I get back. finished my classes and I'm walking back to my car now. Normally I like get my key out, but I did get my key real quick. All right, I'm back home. I just made some lunch and then I filmed a TikTok for a jewelry company. Um, so I got that knocked out of the way. I also cleaned up my apartment a little bit, if you can't tell. It looked a lot better. But class went well this morning. We got our groups for our like group project in my social media strategy class. And then my friend Anna is coming over tonight and we're gonna have a little Galentine's because it is Valentine's Day and we don't have Valentine's. So we're just gonna celebrate together. Like I'm gonna be really honest with y'all. I kind of forgot it was Valentine's Day until this morning when lots of people were wearing pink and red. But I'm gonna head to work in a few minutes. I have to go and take the trash out and walk that over to the dumpster. So that's lots of fun. Then I'm gonna head to work and I'll see y'all tonight when I get back. Okay, I'm back home from work and I stopped by Trader Joe's. I've got some stuff. This is what I'm eating for dinner. It's just like the chickenless orange chicken for Trader Joe's. And I gotta be honest with y'all. The reason I got this today was because yesterday I went to Trader Joe's after work and they were out of these. These are the ones that I normally get. So I was like, okay, well, if there's a time that I'm gonna try the real orange chicken, I might as well do it now. Um, and so I got an entire bag of it and I cooked it last night thinking that it was gonna taste exactly the same as this. Um, no, it was so disgusting, y'all. I've heard that people love this from Trader Joe's but like I literally couldn't finish it, it was so bad. And I honestly, I think it's because I've had this like weird thing with chicken recently where I just like can't eat it. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. Like I've eaten chicken my whole life and I've like never had a problem. But like recently, it's like whenever I eat it, I just like start gagging and like I, like, I can't do it. And yesterday I thought I could do it because I thought that it was the same as these, but no, it tasted completely different. It was so nasty. So now I know to never cheat on these because these are the best. So yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm eating for dinner tonight. Um, and then Anna's coming over and we're gonna go to the store. We're gonna get stuff to make like a little Valentine's cake tonight So you guys can come along with us for that and yeah, we're going to Publix to get the goods to get the goods for this Valentine's day Period <laughs> Okay, we've got icing and sprinkles and the little like thingies where you make it like really specific. Oh, yeah like that. We've got all the ingredients We got in. them all baby <laughs> And what, what we've discovered is that Anna and I crack eggs very, very differently. differently. I am aggressive. <laughs> so Anna just took the egg and just rammed <laughs> on the side of the bowl. And it worked. I, I don't know how she didn't get any um, shells in there. So I'm impressed. But I didn't. And then I was like, 
this is not how I learned to crack an egg. And I'm just like, hers was, dainty. I feel like right. hers was dainty and cute. Mine was like so aggressive. Are we ready to whisk? Yeah. Mm. Oh, there she Thick goes. And creamy. <laughs> this is gonna be the best cake you guys will have ever seen. Wait till the end when it looks amazing. Not right now though. Like a lot. I think it's okay. Here she is. She's coming in the oven now. In her beauty. Okay. I hate that. It if hits. I put it on the top one or the middle one? Wait, how long do we need to put this in? Like 20 minutes? 350. It says bake for 27 to 29 minutes. Let's see how it goes and if it needs longer. Okay, we're setting a timer for... Should we do... Do 27 for now so that we can look at it. Timer. Unless you want to do like 25 because we don't know how like strong your oven is. We're gonna do, we can do 26. Do that, yeah. happy medium. Okay. See y'all in 26 minutes. Dude, I'm like scared that things gonna run up. <laughs> oh my God. Decorating has begun. We kind of failed at putting the white icing on, but it's okay. Minor details. Dude, this, I'm scared this thing's gonna run out. Um, so I'm trying to, to put icing on this. Okay, <laughs> it's not terrible. That's mine. That's on. <laughs> I'm like filling it in. Okay, we have our final result. It's not bad. It is. For the amount of supplies this. we didn't know we needed to get. We've made worse cakes. I don't think it's not bad. <laughs> Half of the Pinterest cakes are worse. Yeah. Like, it's fun. It's so. Valentine? Galentine's? Like, pop off, you know? I'm like high key excited for this. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut it. I don't know where Wait, hold start. up, let me like. Should I cut all the pieces or just like one piece at a time? Oh, maybe one piece at a time. Oh. Look at that. Per. Beautiful. <laughs> Period. Honestly, I'm really proud of us. Okay, because if you saw the cake we made last year <laughs> or two years ago, it two was so ago. bad. Oh, there she is. Look at that. That beautiful. is divine. That is a piece of art. Oh, let me get some icing in there. Yeah, get the get the pink icing. We slayed. Yeah. Okay, here's our official. You gotta get set. some icing on it too. And some sprinkles. And sprinkles. Okay. Ready? One, One. two, three. It's good. Yeah, it's good. I'm content. Success. It is Wednesday now. This morning I just did my little Bible study, went to core change, came back, ate some lunch, and I'm getting ready to go to work in a few minutes. But I just wanted to share a little bit of what I read this morning because it was really, really good, and I think y'all should hear it too. This is the study book that I'm doing right now. It's just like this two week study about like finding rest with God and in God's presence, and it's very, very good. I would recommend. I actually only have two days left of it, and then I start like a Lent study next week, so. I'm kind of intimidated by that one, I'm not gonna lie, but I know it's gonna be good. But this morning's reading was in Exodus and in Matthew, and it was all about like God's provision and like how he provided for his people throughout the years. So I wanted to show y'all, especially the Matthew 6 reading. It talks about being anxious, and then verse 26 says, to look at the birds of the air, they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? So I know for me, I'm in a really big season right now of dealing with a lot of unknown because I'm graduating and I have no idea what my life is gonna look like in the next couple months. I have no idea where I'm gonna be or what I'm gonna be doing. It's literally all up in the air right now. I feel like in seasons like this, it's so easy for us to just continuously worry and forget God's faithfulness and that he always fulfills his promises and that he always looks out for us. Because if he can look out for the birds, if the birds have food, if the birds have everything they need, God will give us everything we need to. So just remembering to trust God and resting and knowing that he's going to provide exactly what we need exactly when we need it. It's just very comforting and I thought that I would share because I'm sure I'm not the only person dealing with a lot of unknowns in my life right now. But anyway, I'm gonna actually head to work. I have to be at work a little bit early today, so I'm gonna go ahead and head over there. I might go to the basketball game tonight. 
I'm gonna be really honest though, I don't know yet if I'm going. I have a ticket, but I just know I'm gonna be so exhausted from the time work is done. So I guess we'll decide when I get off work tonight if I'm going or not. But yeah, I'm gonna go to work and I'll see y'all when I get back. Hey, good morning and happy Thursday. So last night, obviously, as y'all saw, we won the basketball game against Alabama, which was awesome. I'm so glad that we won. They even played Dixieland Delight at the end, which is what they did when we beat Alabama in the fall right here in Neyland Stadium. I, it was great. I'm really glad that I decided to go and not let my tiredness get the best of me. But the high is like 67, like 70 degrees today. So I'm very excited about that. I just have my two classes today because my last class is again canceled because my professor is out of town. So I'm going to go ahead and head over there in a few minutes. I feel like my classes will get out early today so I'm going to go home and then I have a call that I'm getting on at 1 o'clock and then I'm headed to work and then we, we have a mixture tonight with a fraternity here um, and it's pajama themed. So I'll take you guys along with me for that as well. So yeah, here's what I'm wearing today. I just have this long sleeve top from Lululemon. I'm obsessed with these tops. They're just the best. <laughs> and then I just have these sweatpants on from I want to say Pretty Little Thing. I don't know, I've had them for a while. Then I just have my Hocus on, because I'm gonna be doing lots of walking today. So my class starts in 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk over there, and I'll see y'all when I'm back. Okay, so I'm back home from class now and I just finished the call that I got on but my classes went well today we were only in my first class for like 20 minutes um, and then in my second class we also got out really early we have a group project that we're working on we're doing this thing where we're promoting a product in the ball shop on a TikTok and so I just met up with my group after class got out and we went and filmed a TikTok we have to do one that's like AI generated and then one that we come up with just to see which one that's better so um, yeah it's pretty interesting and then again my call went well but I'm getting ready to head to work now and then I have the mixture tonight um, so I'll see y'all when I get back tonight. Okay, so I'm back from work and I'm all ready to go to the mixer. Our mixer is with AGR and it's pajama themed. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, if I had to throw on some kind of dress or dress up or anything for tonight, I would not be going. I would be staying right here in my bed um, because it's pouring down rain outside and it's 10 o'clock at night. But here is what I'm wearing. Here's my pajamas that I'm wearing. This is the top that I wore all today. I didn't change it. Then just these UT pajama bottoms and then my trusty Air Forces because you never wear your nice shoes to a frat. So Anna's picking me up right now and we're gonna head down there 
and I guess I'll see y'all when we get there. Happy Friday. It is actually already Friday evening. As y'all saw, I went to court change this morning and I finished up that study that I was doing that I showed y'all the other day. It was so good. I did that this morning. And then I had the day off from work today. So I've literally just been chilling and haven't left my apartment since this morning. Um, I've been sitting here doing some homework and I've been watching Gilmore Girls and yeah, that's what I've been doing today. I was gonna go out with some friends tonight, but then I've also not been feeling super hot today because my little um, visitor that comes once a month came this morning, so haven't been feeling the best. So that's why I'm staying in tonight. I'm going to bed early. I'm sorry I didn't film more today. I honestly just didn't really do anything. Just kind of took the day off. Tomorrow, plans are still TBD. So I might be doing some fun things tomorrow. I have a core change class booked in the morning and then it's just kind of go with the flow. So we'll see what happens tomorrow, but I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see y'all in the morning. Okay, it's Saturday and I'm gonna get ready to go and watch the Tennessee basketball game with some friends right now. So I just threw on my little vintage Tennessee jacket that I have, it's super cute. Um, and then I just have white long sleeve leggings and hugs on. Um, so pretty simple. But I went to my core change class this morning and it was really good. The place we're going today is really, really cute. So I'm really excited about it. I've never been there before. So yeah, I'll see y'all when I get there. Wait, wait. Around the same size. Oh, there you go. There you go. Hello. Since I'm going to take a little nap. There you go. All right, so I'm back from watching the game. Obviously, we lost, um, so that's not fun. Um, but it's still a really pretty day outside, so I think I'm just gonna go take a little walk. Here's what I'm wearing, just this Lululemon long sleeve top that I love, and then these just black aligned leggings. I know I mix navy and black, but it's just what I have clean, so it is what it is. Um, but I have my hocus on. I'm just gonna go on a little walk and kind of chill the rest of the night, I think. So I'm just gonna go ahead and in this here, thank you guys so much for watching my week. I hope you all enjoyed it. I make videos like this a lot. So feel free to go check out some others if you want. And I will see y'all in the next one.